Today, I forgot my iPhone. So you have to forgive the relative lack of uh, video and photographs for this short walk. A fantastic, albeit short walk today between Trevene Cliff back down to Cape Cornwall our base camp and it was a superlative stretch of cliff walking quite precarious in some places totally safe of course but uh, thoroughly energizing and a fantastic place to be I chatted with Andy about um, Charles Dickens and his visit here back in the day and the inspiration he took from this incredible landscape and the miners who worked here uh, for a Christmas carol would you believe and uh, some amazing detective work by local historian Barry West has uncovered the certain links between Dar uh, Dickens' visit all those years ago and that incredible short story novella that he, uh, he wrote and we all know and love. It wasn't just Dickens that uh, inspired me in these parts. It was also the local artist, Kurt Jackson. In fact, I visited his gallery and foundation in the small town of St Just, near to where we were staying. Uh, an incredible painter. I saw him on the TV, actually, on a Rick Stein programme, and uh, I've now become a, a, a great admirer of his work, and this painting in particular is simply outstanding of the Kennejack Valley, which is where we were. And I was so pleased that, um, even though I'd forgotten my camera, Andy hadn't forgotten his, and he took this rather splendid photograph of me, and I felt really part of a Kurt Jackson painting. So an inspirational place for sure. And uh, I truly love this particular wild part of Cornwall, West Penwith. Cape Cornwall itself is fantastic. It used to be thought of as the Land's End and was a visitor spot back in the day until somebody pointed out that the place that we now know as Land's End is a little further west than Cape Cornwall. We had a fitting sunset to finish, having munched down on some fantastic uh, fish and chips from Jonathan's in the little granite town and tin town of St Just, just up the road from where we stayed on Nampeen Farm. A great way to finish our fortnight or so in Cornwall. I think the storm's arrived, everybody, as forecast for today, Friday, the last uh, day in September the 30th. Andy and me have done our walk from, well, here, middle of nowhere, near a village called Morva, a hamlet called Morva, uh, all the way back to Cape Cornwall and Nampeen Farm, where we're staying. And this shock of a storm's been forecast, um, and now it's here. So we dodged a bullet this morning, really, with the weather. And uh, now I'm off to do a bit of shopping and probably get more wet going shopping than doing the southwest coast path. So all the walking done, uh, just a bit of shopping to do, packing, fish and chips later on, home tomorrow. <laughs>